So you wanna make your own snuffle mat at home? You can do it. Stick with me because in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own snuffle mat. our own snuffle mat right here at home. <laughs> so what do you need to get started? Well, first off you need a rubber mat with holes in it. And for uh, this particular mat, I just bought a kitchen sink mat off of Amazon and I can give you the link to it. I've seen other people buy mats from um, hardware stores and places like that. As long as it has holes in it, that's perfectly fine. Um, usually if you get something from a hardware store, you're gonna have to cut it into sections uh, large enough for your dog or small enough for your dog, depending on what size dog you have and what size snuffle mat you wanna make. Um, this sink mat just happened to come. It might be a little bit bigger than I want for my dog, but that's okay. I'd rather have it a little bit too big than a little bit too small. So you need to start with a mat with a rubber mat with holes in it and then you need to find some fleece fabric now you don't have to go out and buy super expensive fleece fabric you can rummage through scraps or uh, clearance items at your local fabric store i happened to just find some that i liked for my dog and i picked them up they were half off um, or you can buy some really expensive one whatever you want to do that's fine too but you need some fleece fabric now this is it's not super thin, but it's not ultra heavy either. It's kind of like a medium um, pile blanket fabric. And I just got two different colors. You can do all one color. You can do six different colors if you want. It doesn't matter. Um, any colors you want to use is going to be perfectly fine for your snuffle mat. So we're going to take our fabric and we're going to cut it um, into strips about an inch, an inch to an inch and a half wide. and. Um, 7 to 12 inches long and I actually prefer if you cut your strips in different lengths that way it's going to provide more of a texture pattern on uh, the mat when you're done with it so let's go ahead and start cutting our strips I, I cut mine really long and then I kind of randomly cut pieces smaller so that I have a variation of links on my snuffle mat. So let's go ahead and start cutting some fabric. And I'm not gonna spend this whole video cutting fabric, but you need, do need a good pet of, pair of scissors, and uh, fabric scissors, and we're just gonna cut strips. Okay, so what is a snuffle mat and why would you want to make one? So a snuffle mat is really just a canine enrichment, um, meaning that it's going to provide um, some sort of physical and mental enrichment for your dog. Now, with, with a snuffle mat, we're primarily using our dog's sense of smell to activate their, their brain and their problem solving abilities. This is um, something you can make, or you can even buy them if you don't want to make one. You can make for your dog. You can put, we're going to put treats and snacks inside of the fleece so that your dog has to sniff out the treats and snacks and use their brain, use their mind to get some mental stimulation and be rewarded for the mental stimulation that they're putting out. So we want. To, it's really important with our dogs that we provide them enough mental stimulation as well as physical stimulation um, to keep them healthy and to keep them active and to keep them happy. So this is just one really great way, something you can make at home to, to use with your dogs, get their sense of smell working, provide them an awesome reward for using their brain power to seek out the treats and snacks inside of the snuffle mat. So that's the primary use of the snuffle mat. So let's keep cutting our fabric. Okay, so I'm cutting fabric. Got fabric cutting. And this happens. I bet it'll happen to you too. <laughs> so I guess we're going to take a little break. All right, guys. So now I've got all of my strips cut in 
both um, colors of my fleece and I've got my mat. So let's talk about how we're actually going to attach the fleece pieces to the mat. All right, so you can see here we've got our mat and we've got our fleece pieces. Now we're just gonna take, we're gonna start row by row. We're going to put part of the fleece through one hole and then the other part right through the next hole on the back side here. See that? Then we're going to flip it over and we're just going to tie a knot. Just like that. So now I have two here and if you look on the back side this is what it's going to look like. Now we're just going to go through and start, we're going to do row by row. If you have a specific pattern that you want to make, you can plan that out. I don't really have a specific pattern, so I'm just going to start doing row by row. Inserting my fleece pieces and then tying the knot on the front side. Just like that. So let's get going and start building out our snuffle mat. Uh, one thing I did want to mention to you guys, I forgot to mention earlier, when I bought my fleece, I brought it home and I washed it. So before I ever started cutting it, um, I washed it. And that's because I'm going to be putting food on this for my dog to eat. And um, I just want to make sure it's clean before I start you know, putting food on it. So I suggest you guys do the same thing. Bring it home and wash it and then start cutting it into pieces. Okay, so now I took my time making my snuffle mat, but this is the finished product, and Kim is here because she already knows that this is hers. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to show you the back of the snuffle mat, and as you can see, every row, there are no gaps anywhere. That's how you know you've gotten everything done on your snuffle mat. So here is the finished product, and Kim is already really excited. I've already started training her to use her snuffle mat. And even though this video is not about how to use your snuffle mat, I wanted to just show you quickly the best way to get your dog accustomed to what the snuffle mat is for. Because the very first night when I finished this, Kim thought it was a blanket. But um, you just, you can take some of your dog's favorite treats and gently place them on the very top. Don't try to get them all buried in yet. Uh, let your dog get used to it and you can slowly start moving the treats into the pieces of fabric so that your dog has to get in there and find them but use use all of their senses their olfactory senses and get in there and find the treats that's going to be the fun of it these are kim's favorite you see you just put them on top so that they start to understand what this mat is for. So that's really how you make a snuffle mat for your dog. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and share this with your friends so that they can see how easy it's gonna be for them to make a snuffle mat for their dog too. So I will see you in the next video.